What's up guys, it's Caleb. Recently we've been seeing a change in climate patterns which has posed a major threat to coral reefs and their ecosystems. Scientific evidence has supported that these changes in climate patterns are a result of mankind's emission of greenhouse gases. And CO2 makes up a vast majority of those emitted greenhouse gases. And we emit CO2 when we use it for things like transportation or electricity. These greenhouse gases trap additional heat in the atmosphere, causing a change in climate pattern. Only about a third of the CO2 stays in the atmosphere. A third is absorbed by the ocean, and then the rest is absorbed by the trees. When we cut or burn down the trees, the CO2 in the trees goes back into the atmosphere or in the ocean. This causes a process called ocean acidification. When this happens, it actually weakens the coral skeleton and weakens shells and causes slower growth rate for corals. Coral reefs protect coasts from things like hurricanes, and we use them as fisheries and they also generate tourist dollars. They're also homes for fish and they're also nurseries and can be used as cleaning stations and things like that. So they're pretty important but they're not doing so well right now so you know. As climate change causes temperatures to rise, coral algae on the coral skeleton leaves causing coral to have this bleach color. So it's not really having fun in the sun you know how it is. Like coral, um, this leaves coral weak and starving. So, yeah, sucks. If temperature returns to normal, so will coral. So if temperatures return to normal, we'll start seeing healthy coral again. But bleaching events are happening much more frequently than they used to, not giving coral enough time to recover, causing coral to eventually over time die. A third of fish spend some of their lives in the reefs. And unfortunately, if the reefs go, it will have a massive effect on those fish's lives and other sea creatures. So we need to just really protect these. And they're also, they're really cool. Like, see some of these videos these are all in uh, reefs really cool there's some really cool stuff in there so we got to keep them uh, healthy and we can do that by maybe not taking a car everywhere maybe biking or walking or if you do have to take a car carpool we need to be much more educated consumers and know what we are buying and how it affects the environment so we can better host to the world's diverse and interesting creatures